quality matters tremendously with these tests. They're gonna be used for big decisions. So for example, if I'm screening the population for convalescent plasma donors and wanna make sure that I have a plasma donation with high antibody levels, the quality of that test matters. It matters tremendously to the patient receiving the plasma and that patient's family. It matters when we have a vaccine and we're all looking forward to that vaccine. You know, the prevalence of the virus in different communities will influence how we roll out the vaccine. So it's very important to have tests with the highest sensitivity and specificity possible. Some of the early tests that came out did not offer the market that, and that has engendered uh, a lot of dialogue and even confusion about the use of these tests. But a test like Beckman Coulter's, performed with a tube of blood on highly sophisticated equipment, is in a completely different ballpark. Just to give you an example, our immunoassay instruments are capable of detecting a single teaspoon of fluid in the equivalent of 1,000 Olympic swimming pools. So these are very precise instruments, and this test, with its high sensitivity and specificity, can offer a great positive predictive value even in communities with low prevalence of infection.